Hey, what is happening, people? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing Planet. Today, we'll be talking about poppers and walkers on how to use them. And I found out the two most effective popper and walker what you could use is the, um, the redhead with the yellow body, and the walker you want to use the green frog. And as you can see already, with this popper, what I'm using in the video, it, I've got a fish straight on. So basically what you want to be doing when you cast the popper into the water, you want, you want to try and get a good display on the, pop, on the popper. So basically when you cast in, you want to reel and strike, like every two, you want to wait for that line to go straight. So basically I'm going to show you now. So you cast in. Then you want to lean to the side, like lean to the side, whichever side you want to, whichever side you want to go. So you want to like, as you can see, I'm reeling, stroke, reel, stroke, like that. Then you get a good display on your papa, and you will track the fish more. But if you don't do it like that, and you, and you will miss fish as well, as you just seen. But if you don't do it like that you probably get less of a fish to boys. And also, yeah, there's another way to attract that fish with the papa. When you're reeling and stroking at the same time with the papa, it's like, when the papa, like, where he's on the water, as you can see in the display, you will see it come down the back end of the tail on the papa. And what you want to do, yeah, you want to find the positioning where, where it will do the noise, where it goes like a frog noise, where it goes like a whoop. Whoop, like that. But if you hear like a splashing noise, yeah, it won't be much of effective. But if you got a two bar with a pop power, like the um, the positioning on it and the display of it, you'll get a bite. But if it's like on a one, it'd be tough, but it won't attract much, much fish. But with a two bar on the display of it, where it attracts them, you're more likely to get a bite from that, from the papa, from the display, the display of you, how you're attracting the fish. But you do also miss some, so I'll just be warned. What you want to do when when the fish is there, you just want to wait, you just want to stop, you just want to stop, really in a bit more. Then you'll try and jump for it, then you'll probably get it or miss it. I've missed a few, as you've seen previously. I just missed one. But that, that's all it is to a papa, but the papa 3 slash 4 OZ hashtag 4 slash 0 is the best papa what I've seen so far. And the other two don't put much of a, um, a display on. It works the same way, but find out more if you use the papa what I'm using with the red head with the yellow back. You attract more fish, I just don't know why. But I've been getting musky and tiger musky from this one one papa and also when you do eat a fish yeah this is another thing what people have been asking me about while well, when i've been playing what's the best way how to get the fish in when they put on a big fight so basically when when you got the fish on when you when you as you stop him from taking line out there's going to be sort of like a, a way to stop him from taking your line out so if you lean to the left or to the right or put your rod up in the air there's going to be that tension where the fish won't take any line out it puts pressure on the fish so if I lean to the left and the line's still running out you want to move it to somewhere else say to the right just in case that line don't come out and that's you know it's their weak point then but if it's in the air you can do it in the air if he's like taking it out straight that's another weak point like from left road to not like up in the air so any of them three three areas could be the weak weak points say for instance if he goes to the left 
If you've just stood a left, I want to take my road to the right and find a weak point of you. So it brings the fish up, up back that way. So we're moving on to this part of the video. This is a line up from the muskie where you throw against the free trees from where the overgrown bushes where everybody fishes for the muskie and the pike. You just want to sit in the corner and get in this position. I found out this is the best best way to get the, the muskie from here and this is the line up. This is the line up and the tunnel for them from this end. And this is a trophy. This puts on a little fight. But that little position there where I'm sitting from where the muskie are on St. Cook's Lake. You want to get in the boat and sit that corner and cast in that position for the mus muskie. That, that's the best part i found out so far. And I do it a unique on the papa from what I've been doing. As I was showing you earlier, make sure, you, make sure you, when you get your papa in you want to reel a few times, stroke. Reel a few times, stroke, so it keeps that two, two display thing on the popper, like the, um, the effectness, or whatever you want to call it, where you got them three little circles on the popper. Make sure you keep it in the two. I found it quite hard to get three, but number two is the closest so far to getting it on the positioning and the display of how that popper works. Also, as I said previously as well, make sure you tilt the rod to the left hand side, put it on an angle so you can get the display on the papa and you'll do quite good then. Also, someone asked me yesterday in one of my streams, am I a legendary of KP Shimino? No, I am not a legendary of KP Shimino, but I am good at what I do. So basically, yeah, I would say I'm a legendary because there's only me, there's only one me, so I am a legendary. Everybody's a legendary, everybody's good at what they're good at doing. So that's it, that's from me. But I will say KP, Shima, KP Shimino is good at what he does and i got respect for him. He's a good fisherman guide to go and follow and go and subscribe to and someday I hope people follow follow what I do and much respect if you do I ain't asking for nothing or anything to make these videos here so you people can watch for free and how to play fishing planet and how to get good So that's the end of that and what I want to say as well yeah um, I do a lot of streaming on Twitch I do a lot of streaming on Twitch so if you want to see me do some streams on YouTube let me know comment below in the video or comment on Facebook when I, when I post a video and this is where I catch the unique as I was just saying, comment on Facebook if you want to see me do some streaming on YouTube. And I'd just like to say thank you as well. I reached the 60 mark on YouTube and it's slowly growing. Thumbs up. And I'm seeing some comments now on YouTube. What people are liking the video and asking how to fish for them. Much respect. And I will help you out as much as I can. And... If you want to see some new videos of what and how to catch fish from what learn like bait or anything just comment below the video what you want to see and i'll try and sort some out and i'll try and help the people out on facebook as well and also from facebook people as well on fishing planet let me know what you want to see and this is one for facebook as well someone asked me on facebook to do a video on poppers and walkers and edities and hope you enjoy so we're coming up to now on the little green man we call him the green frog i found out he's one of the bestest frogs out of the, out of the three 
because you got the green is it like a yellow silver and a, like a white color we'll find out the green ones are better so you want to work with this one so it's going to be the same way as you work the popper so you want a real stroke real stroke like that to give him that like a display effect to attract the fish so basically it's like real real stroke real real stroke but make sure you put an angle same again on it or if you're good at doing it on on a straight you can do it that way but it's very rare that you can, it's very less likely to get a fish on a like a one display on how you use that lot I use a frog but they call them walkers or whatever you want to call them whatever you whatever you can catch them if you just reel in I had a few last night for me also the papa and the frog are good for catching snook I was catching them like no tomato last night I was catching them like no tomato it was like it was like catching it was like putting money in a bowl and taking it. That's what it was like. And as you can see, we just see another fish from that from that positioning. I know I was reeling and striking for it. But you do miss some. You do miss some for it. Because the fish do jump out of the water for it. And you can miss some. So we're coming up now, yeah, to the last part of the video where I catch the unique largemouth bass and this is the frog to catch him with if you do want to catch him that's why we call him the frog he's a lucky frog i know i'll be i'll be using him all the while now if I, now i know that i can use them sorry for gambling on but i ain't got much to talk about so if you want to know other stuff like on fish and plan just comment below like subscribe follow me on twitch twitter all that kind of stuff then you know when there's new videos or when i go live and plus come to my streams as well you can lurk or talk if you want to i am really fussed i don't boat free to watch and i hope to see you there sometime but don't forget give it a thumbs up like and comment subscribe to the youtube channel free of charge twitch is free of charge so if you want to come and check me out and uh, have a nice christmas and happy new year peace enjoy tight lines